What's going on everybody, it's boy Edge0626 bringing you some more Battlefield 1. Today we're on the map Giant Shadow. I'm with my buddies Sapper and Dr. Pimpenstein. This match, uh, I don't know, it was a fluctuation of bullshit because, I don't know, at some point we had the lead, then we lost the lead. You know, our teammates lost the fucking game for us as far as I'm concerned because I fucking pulled a 2.0 in this in TDM, which is... You know, hard enough to do in Battlefield, never mind COD. So I was like, oh, I pulled a 16 and 8, which yeah, it's a 2.0, I guess, right? So I, uh, I, we still ended up losing somehow. I don't know how, but I'll blame the teammates for this one. So if you read the title by now, you know that I'm pretty salty on Battlefield 1 lately. Quite frankly, I haven't played it as much as I wish I could. But, um, there's been some factors leading up to that that have just, you know, made me not want to play the game as much. Uh, so basically the whole thing is, you know, Battlefield 1, you know, what went wrong with this game? And we're not even, we're not even close to a year yet. I mean, we have another two and a half, three years of this game, you know, in the life cycle. So, how could this game be dying already, well... I'm going to discuss some things that, you know, could be potential the potential reason for this. My first thing is shitty teammates. Now, I wanted this game to do good because I knew COD was going to be a complete shit this year uh, with the Infinite Warfare. I'm surprised, I mean, I thought this game was dying. I'm surprised anybody's still playing that crappy looking game. It's not because of the jetpacks, but that also has something to do with it, but I mean... The game just looks terrible, in my opinion. I don't, I don't like the way the game looks at all. Um, you know, the thing is, like, with Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty going head-to-head -head this year, you know, we, we knew at some point that there was going to be, uh, especially with the COD Torch, you know, you knew they were going to be coming over there. Uh, they were going to be coming over to this game because, you know, they're going to hop on the bandwagon of Battlefield because they knew COD was dying, all that type of bullshit. Hopefully World War II takes those dumbasses out and puts them back in their own game. You know, so it's just a it's just a fact of, you know, people don't know how to play this game. I can't tell you how many fucking stupid teammates I run into on a daily basis when I play this game. It's astounding how people could be this stupid, you know, in a game that actually requires you to do a little bit of thinking. Cod Call of Duty doesn't require you to think that much, unless you're doing competitive or whatever. But this game, you know, I'm not not so much TDM, but I mean in like games like Conquest, all that type of stuff and operations, it requires you to do some shit, you know. And you see stupid motherfuckers sitting in the back of the map, you know, sniping when they should be trying to capture flags or whatever. Especially in, especially in um, what do you call uh, especially in operations. You know, the fucking stupidity that these teammates show on a daily basis is, is just astounding. It's a, it's no surprise to me how people like who squad up like guys like X Factor, Matimio, Fr Jack Frags. You know, when they all squad up in their videos, it's a, it's it's no surprise why they shit on their teammates or not on their teammates on the enemy team all the time or most of the time anyway, because. The fucking enemy team doesn't know what the fuck they're doing, and I bet their own teammates don't even know what the fuck they're doing. So, you know, and I've only been playing Battlefield since last summer, when I bought Battlefield 4. So, I, in that amount of time, I learned more about how to play Battlefield than probably most of these morons knew on, on their way coming into Battlefield 1, when they never bothered to play a Battlefield game at all beforehand. So right then, like people that are shitty teammates, in my opinion, is what killing this is what is killing this game, or one of the reasons for it, because it's just ridiculous. You see people who are medics who don't fucking revive. You see people switching out crucial things that to help the teammate out uh, and replace it with, like, say, people who replace med packs or a syringe with rifle grenades. Yes, those fucktards really do exist. You know. Enough with that. Another thing is the conquest system. In my opinion, Battle Conquest is the, you know, the premier game mode for Battlefield. Um, and I know this because people have 
told me and because it's pretty much the most most played game type in any battlefield um, whether it's small or large or whatever the conquest system in in this game is fucking terrible uh, I'm gonna be quite honest with you uh, it's it's you know if let's be honest if you somehow if your team somehow starts losing points or whatever you're gonna have to fucking pull bust some ass to get them back you know I like Battlefield 4's conquest better because you know it made for those epic comebacks I don't know where the fuck that guy was coming from but um you know it made for those epic comebacks you know once you once you start going away like 50 something points below the enemy team or even close to 100 there's really no way you're coming back and that's what I hate about conquest you know you feel like you're getting cheated because you know you feel like you're getting cheated basically is what I'm trying to get at you know, I like when I play Battlefield 4, I've made some pretty fucking sick comebacks and close calls. In Battlefield 1, uh, not so much. So that whole factor has been eliminated completely. Um, it's it's just, you know, Conquest, they really need to overhaul the Conquest system, in my opinion. You know, the maps, too. Some of the maps are campy as fuck. Like the new French map they released a couple weeks ago for the French DLC. Uh, I don't know the name of it. It starts with a P or something. That map, in my humble opinion, is the worst map I may have ever played in this game so far. Um, and it's because it's so fucking campy. It's dark as shit. You know, Novell Nights I got used to after a little, after a couple games on it. But, you know, what really bugs me about that map, it's it's super fucking campy. Um, it's really fucking hard to see anything or anyone on the map. It's just, it doesn't play well on any type of game mode. I've played TDM and i played Conquest. So far, I it's just a headache. And I don't want to feel like I'm having a headache playing a game. You know, it's fucking terrible. It's really, I really think that's the worst map of this um I, I, like, I honestly, out of all the French maps that they've released um, since They Shall Not Pass's initial release, I guess I should say, um, it's that one is the worst. The city, the it looks like Amiens basically, but in, in night, and it's really, really bad. Um, I thought Foul Fortress was shit. You know that the this one doesn't. Uh, this one takes the cake. So. You know, I guess I'm also kind of allowing myself to be influenced by some of my friends because a lot of my friends, uh, or at least some of them anyway, um, either stop playing this game completely or when we all do play the game, it's just a fucking rage fest by some guys. And it's really not, it's, it's really not me picking on them at all. Like, I understand what their frustration is, you know, because it's, it's a basically a combination of everything. The teammates are horrible. There's so much noob shit in the game. Another thing is um, that made this game kind of die out, I guess I can say, is the customization for weapons. You know, there's really no cu weapon customization other than skins and maybe one or two sight changing things, which, you know, really doesn't matter because you only pick from two sights anyway. It's either regular iron sights or the buckhorn sight, which is what I'm using on my Saber Gotti right now. And it's, it's terrible. It's fucking bad, dude. It's just... I don't know. Honestly, in, in closing, man, I, I once said that this game was the best first-person shooter on the market. Now I'm not even so sure about that anymore. I mean, it's not a bad game. It's still not a bad game, but whatever's going on, you know, with dice, I mean, they're not really helping this game much, in my opinion. The grenade, the grenade spam especially is something that still hasn't been fixed, in my opinion. Every time I fucking go anywhere, it feels like a fucking grenade fest. Um, I've seen on... X Factor, some of X Factor's stream titles. Uh, it's called the Grenade Dodging Simulator, which is basically what this game has turned into. You know, the whole ammo 2.0 thing, in my opinion, really didn't help the whole, oh, uh, let's stop grenade spam type of thing. If anything, I think it, it increased it. And I hate that. I really do. It really didn't, in my opinion, I think it increased grenade spam because you can have grenades regenerated. Um, by the way, watch this. I missed that guy and I hit that guy. I didn't even see that dude there. That was pretty, that was pretty sick, I have to admit. But, uh, man, it's, I don't know. In, in my opinion, this game, in this game, in my opinion, this game has probably already died. Or at least dying, it's dying, but it's dying a relatively quicker death than some games with one year life spans like Call of Duty do, in my opinion. You know, and also, but in, in, in also, 
Uh, also, I think the uh, spreading out of DLCs really didn't help this game much because it really there. Once you play all the maps, it's kind of like okay, I want something new now, you know. All I can say is this: by the time they shall not pass comes around, I hope for at some point that it kind of revives this game because and kind of puts it in a better direction than it's in right now because right now this game is incredibly frustrating to play at least as a player for me anyway I don't know what are your thoughts on it down in the comments section uh, and I, I want to know your opinions you know all that type of stuff I know some of you guys opinions already but uh, I'm gonna ask regardless anyway hope you guys have enjoyed this and I'll uh, be sure to catch you guys on the next commentary. Hope, uh, hope you enjoyed, and peace out.